Ave Maria, welcome back to No Apologies. I'm Brother Joseph, and today we're going to look at the Protestant theory, once saved, always saved. Many Protestant groups hold that once a person accepts Christ as Savior, then that person is at that very moment saved, and there's nothing that he or she can do to lose that salvation. They say that yes, it's good to lead a holy life, but that in itself is not essential and doesn't have any direct bearing on one's salvation. The only essential thing is to accept Christ as Savior. Catholics, on the other hand, hold that it's at our baptism that we receive God's grace and are made His children. And as His children, then, are made also heirs to His kingdom. Now this grace is called sanctifying grace. This is what Adam and Eve lost by original sin. And like them, we too can lose that grace through a serious sin which we call mortal sin which St. John describes in his first letter, chapter 5, 16-17, as a deadly sin, or a sin which is unto death. If anyone sees his brother committing what is not a deadly sin, he will ask, and God will give him life for those whose sin is not deadly. There is a sin which is deadly. I do not say that one is to pray for that. All wrongdoing is sin, but there is a sin which is not unto death. If a person dies in that state without sanctifying grace, then he will not be saved. That is what is meant by a sin which is unto death. Now it is possible to regain that grace through the sacrament of confession, then once again become heirs to that promise. Now this Catholic understanding is clearly taught in the book of Romans. In chapter 11, verse 19 through 23, St. Paul says, you will say, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. That is true. They were broken off because of their unbelief. But you stand fast only through faith. So do not become proud, but stand in awe. For if God did not spare the natural branches, neither will he spare you. Note then the kindness and the severity of God. Severity towards those who have fallen, but God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you too will be cut off. And even the others, if they do not persist in their unbelief, will be grafted in, for God has the power to graft them in again. Now the Protestant theory, once saved, always saved, on the other hand, is completely unbiblical. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13, our Lord tells us that he who endures to the end will be saved. And St. Paul also tells us in his letter to the Philippians 2.12 to work out our salvation in fear and trembling, not in a presumptuous contentment. And he himself admits in his first letter to the Corinthians that he could fall away from grace. Chapter 9, verse 27, where he says, But I pummel my body and subdue it, lest after preaching to others I myself should become disqualified. So scripture is very clear that we can lose our salvation, and to assert otherwise is to be presumptuous. Thanks for joining me here on No Apologies. Ave Maria.